Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one is on John Bradshaw Layfield, Icon of WrestleMania. Uh, so this is the JBL we have for the Icons. Uh, I like him a lot. I will talk about where I think he fits in. Uh, I think he has a lot of uses in the game at the moment. Um, I'll talk about that at the end. Uh, start off, uh, Titan Plate for the whole preview. Eight or more blast gems, 200% gem damage, two turns. Very powerful plate. It's on the plate part picker. Everyone has access to it. Uh, Fury 2 for this one. Um, and then 149% move damage metal on reds. Um, you know, nothing too crazy. Uh, that's there for this first move set, which is trash, by the way. This first move set you would never run. Uh, it's just so I can show you the JBL bomb. You could potentially run the sub with some other stuff. Uh, I like some other builds better, though. Uh, but those options are there. So I'm going to run this one, which is the worst one first. And um, then I'll run a really good one. And we should... Uh, I'm going to end with a really interesting one that I think has a lot of potential that might surprise people at the end. So... <clears throat> Yeah, anyway, let's kind of dive into it. Uh, JBL Bomb, 10 MP finisher, deal 328k damage, and pin the opponent. If this destroyed, uh, like, a couple random blast gems, five or six, I would love this move for this move set. But it doesn't. So it's kind of just wasted. Uh, big Boot, um, deal 117k damage, make 15 random gems into blast gems. Sleeper Hold, um, 8 MP, the Big Boot was 7, my bad. Um, generate 15 random submission gems, do 124k, two turns, remaining turn into blast. Entourage, here you go. Kofi for four yellow. Cena for two, that way this would start in feud. Brett for 40% on the finisher, which is going to be inconsequential. And then 50% um, more damage on the blast gems from Sammy, since we have, should have a good amount there. Of course, you don't have Sammy, just use uh, Ray for 25%. All right, let's get into this. Like I said, this is the worst uh, move set by far. So keep that in mind. Um, here, let's put this to 1.25. Two is a little bit fast for people. So we shall keep it at the 1.25er, niner. Uh, nice thing is, Titan Plate will work uh, with this move here. Not the sub, unless it's boss battle, uh, but this one. Yellow match is what I'm after, I think, um, but it doesn't connect any blasts, so red it is. We destroyed the whole board, get a nice, nice cascade, reload all the moves, 3 million damage, uh, reduced to 2.8 million. Nothing wrong with that. You could also use the sub trainer for yellow subs, uh, right off the top of my head, I want to say it's Tech Drew. Could be wrong about that. Um... And make it last three turns and drain a little bit better. And you could have that option. Of course, we could hit this finisher any time now. But it's only doing 900k and that's not going to keep a six star down. I may hit it later on just so you guys can see the animation. Uh, but for now, not so much. Or if we don't refill our moves like we're not going to here. Because I somehow managed to not be able to connect anything super useful. So this is going to be a big, big swing and a miss here. That's pretty terrible. Um, good job, Merricks. Only you can do that. Uh, here, though, we can get the rest of the board. Let's do that. Another three mil. Like I said, this is the worst build by far, guys. By far. Now he's going to do some John Cena things. Well, I contemplate my life choices and really want to click this to 2.0. Good job, John. Good job. You know what? Just for the heck of it, here's the finisher animation so you guys can see it. JBL bomb. Boom. All right. Now back to business. I don't know what that was. Don't judge me. 
Actually, I do. This is... I, I Honestly, I would never even run this, but this way you guys could see the moves, so... La-dee-da-dee-da! Go JBO, go JBO, go JBO. Blasty blast, blippity blip. Ooh, we have a red row break on top. Very likely we're gonna take that row break, yo. Uh, why not? Yeah, we got a good cascade. Was not a very great spread on the uh, gemmy gems and we are not loaded as of yet oh no don't fill the yellow cena oh no oh no uh yeah sure now i'm gonna hit my 900k finisher it might keep him down we want to go downtown. JBL bomb. Yeah, no, not at all. <laughs> like I said, this is the worst build. It's horrible. We're almost done, though. We're going to sub. We're going to hit the blast and it's going to be over. Once Cena gets done here. Then we can get to the fun stuff. I promise. This is just for the completionists that want to see all the moves. Don't hate me that much. A little bit's probably fair. All right, two clicks and we should be done. Two clicks and a swipe and it should be over, I promise. Ish. Americs can find a way to mess it up, trust me. We got it out of the way though now, guys. It's out of the way, worst first. Now we can get to the action. Boom. Yeah, eat it, Cena. Right to the face. JBL puts you down. Uh-huh. All right. Now we're going to go see two really good blast gem setups. They're both the same moves. Different trainers. First one I'm going to show you is if you don't have 17k Santa. Second one will be with 17k Santa. If you don't have Sammy, no big deal. Just use Typhoon in place of Sammy. Uh, he would be a fine option, right? Okay, so we're going to keep one move. We're going to swap out two moves. Bum, bum, bum. Here comes the good stuff. Not you. This one. Make 18 blast gems into yellow gems. Shoulder block. 120k damage. 7 MP purple. 18 blast into yellow. I'm sure you can see where we're going with that. And then the scoop power slam, 7 MP, deal 114k damage, and choose a 2x3 area to swap into purples. So we hit this, it fills this, and then uh, we hit this, and then we hit this, and it recycles. Booda booda boop, while we have the Titan plate. It's good stuff, yo. Good stuff. Kofi, Cena, uh, Sammy is still on, and this will be Ray. Like I said, if you don't have Sammy, just use Typhoon. Oh, uh, generate gems should be faster to find Ray. There he be. Set entourage. And let's go. On to Jan Cena here. Bippity boop. Power slam. Titan play, but well, just so we got uh, 31k yellows. Bada, 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 now we have 61k yellows, and the blast yellows are 72k. And all of these blasts are going to turn yellowy. We should get a decent cascade. 2.8 million after reduction on the first cycle. Here comes cycle number two. Who does number two work for? Um, so we don't need to hit this, right? Um, I don't really see a reason not to, though. 
Let's take the damage. Yo. A wiki wiki scratch. Wiki wiki scratch. Hmm. I almost saw a reason not to. Big boot to the face. Will this one put Cena down for the count? A one, a two, a three. Let's find out. Horrible spread. Horrible spread. Miss that completely. Wow. Wow. Feels bad, man. Good job, Merricks. Way to make him look like trash. Trash, I say. Bummer. All right, it's okay. It's okay, JBL. You're better than that. I believe in you. Farouk believes in you. Sweetie. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, and here we go again. Walking down the only road we've ever known. Better cascade that time. That was 5.4 million damage. Be good. Be solid. Like most of the Titan Plate guys, he's going to be most of the time a turn two win, right? Okay. So, if you have 17k Santa, you can do this. Same build, but now you can use JBL for 100% buffage on the blast gems. So let's see what that looks like. Plus you generate more blast gems, which in this case is great. So if you have 17k Santa, this would be the preferred loadout. In my opinion. Um, and then you could use Sammy or Ray. Honestly, um, Ray's on there. You could keep Sam. Let's keep Sammy on. One more blast gem versus 50% damage versus 25%. Damage, I think the 50 is going to win out over one extra gem in 25, so. We'll just leave Sammy on. Even though the picture says Ray, we'll leave Sammy on. The last build set is really, really interesting. I like it a lot. Just throwing that out there. Power slam. Wham, bam. Thank you, Mr. Cena. So again, yellow, 27k. A little bit less because we don't have Cena adding the 45%. 57k, but the blasts are 79k. And if you recall last time, blasts were 72k. Um, so 7k more per blast gem. With this setup. And of course, we're turning most of them yellow. Holy mackerel, did I manage to miss the entire board. It's amazing, guys, how bad um, I am at RNG. That's like, what are the odds of that? Well, if it's you, Merricks, they're pretty good. For the standard champs player, not so great. I swear, too, the game knows I'm recording. I played this build so much, and I don't think I even came close to whiffing that bad even one time. Even as bad as the first one, uh, too. I'm just great at that when I'm recording. It's fine, though. Again, we're going to miss probably a little bit in here. Maybe? No, I think we're good. Nope, we did miss. It's a shame, man. Just a shame. Oh well. It is what it is. How long have I been recording? 14 minutes? I'm gonna run this one once more. Because I don't feel like I've shown the average match with it. I feel like I should show you guys how he will play most of the time. So let's just run one more after this. Why? Because I can. Is my preview, dang it. I'll do it if I want. You don't like it? Go watch someone else. Yeah, I said it. That's right. Yeah! I 
Uh, I got most of the board. Not a good cascade. 5.1 million. Holy crap, Cena. You see that? 5.1 million. He's down to 2.1 million health and he kicks out like it's nothing. Freaking six star kick out health, man. I'm telling you. It is something else. Woof. Woof. Oh well, whatever. It's over now, Cena. You can't see it, but it's over. Do I, do I even need to play one more? Maybe I don't need to play. You know what? I'm not gonna. It's fine. Everything's fine. That's 7.2 million. Obviously, this would be a good build for boss battle, right? Pretty solid. Okay, last build. I don't want to play another one. I changed my mind. This is super interesting to me. You have to play it a specific way for it to work well. Um, I was playing it one way and it wasn't working well at all. And I'm like, yeah, I don't like this. Then I switched it up and I'm like, oh, this is kind of fun. And the followers. Okay. We're going to use the short arm clothesline. 8 MP purple. Deal 124k damage. Choose 7 to make into red. Fall away slam. 8 MP red. Deal 129k damage. Make 11 random gems into trap. If broken by your opponent, deal 122k damage. Broken by you, deal 33k damage and make 3 random gems into red gems. Oh. And the chokehold. 9 MP red. Submission. Generate 11 random sub gems. Do 117k 3 turns. Remaining turn into X break. Entourage. Double red MP, so we can start turn one in any mode, except for maybe showdown. He, this is not a showdown guy, by the way. You would never use this guy in showdown. I mean, unless he's your best guy, but then, you know, that's probably not good. Uh, Bianca, definitely, zombie Bianca, is definitely going to be key for this build because she works on the traps. Um, so you would, if you're going to run this build, you would want her. And then this should be, uh, uh, Acrobat Steamboat, who Merix doesn't have yet. Um, so if we could get his shards in an event soon, that would be great. Hint, 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 hint. I would love to get him. I'm like 300 shards away. Anyway, I don't have him. So for me, I'm just going to put Lashley on for an extra turn of the sub and 50% damage more on all of them. Uh, whatever, you know? That's what I'm going to do. But you should use Acrobat Steamboat if you have them. In that spot. For this build. Alright. Now the key here, at first I'm like, I tried throwing the trap gems out, hitting the sub, watching the damage tick when they broke the trap gems. 120k is not impressive against the 6 star. So instead, I started holding the fall away slam back for after the sub. And that's when the magic started to happen. So I highly recommend running it that way. Also, uh, the four turn can come back to bite you in the butt as you lose your X breaks, right? He's probably going to kill my purple there. Yeah, of course. Um, so now we the real we have a roll break here. Two is about the good number. Once in a while, two can miss. Two, two is a really good number, though. Three is great. Um, we have this break here. And what else do we have? We have this one here, which hits two. So I'm going to take this one. Nice. So that was 3 million. Yeah. Um, without any kind of buff. So the new Steiner plate buffs reds and blues. Yeah. So you could use that and it would buff all the reds coming out. Also, uh, Hogan plate would buff the reds 200%. Right. Uh, and that's on the prize wall that's going on right now. Um, as long as you break at least 20 gems, which you can see once you break those traps, that is not hard. Uh, so the other thing is you haven't seen the purple choose loaded yet. Once the purple choose is loaded, then it gets really dirty uh, because you can put more reds on the board, get two matches anywhere you want, etc., etc. Right. Um, so what can we do here? This one, if we go down, is going to not break it ton i think it breaks one i it looks like 
this isn't great. Um, so we're going to need to have a little RNG happiness here. Nope, this gets two. Now that I got more than two, got a lot more too. We're fine. So you can imagine with a Hogan plate getting 200% more damage every time out of there, um, how good that would be like in a boss battle and stuff. And also the sub uh, slowing down as well. So you may even prefer this over the Titan plate a little bit, especially if you have a Hogan plate, like even for feuding stuff, um, as you probably won't get hit. Although we did see Cena manage to load, even though it's a four turn sub. Uh, not the end of the world though, you know. And now the red moves loaded. Which now you can probably do some really fun stuff. That's depending how much you want to risk the board. Um, and how this lays out here, right? So we need eight red MP. Five, six, seven. Mm, like that, right? I mean, technically we won't, but in Fuge you would. Technically you wouldn't need this much. Five would be enough. Uh, six would be enough for Fuge. We'll see. Uh, that just gives the traps out twice. Right, and now... It's probably not necessary, but like for a uh, boss battle, if it was a trap boss or something, right? Um, and then we're just going to take two because we have, yeah, unfortunately I blew up too much of the board, right? I blew up too much of the board, so we actually did less damage. That's the thing, like, you don't want to break much more than two or three gems, um, and then you get a lot better result. Well, that could have been a super hard hit. Anyway, I think you see the point of the builds. It's really fun. Um, different options. So... Let's take a look at him. Big win is he's defensive. Uh, I don't know very many defensive superstars that can grow their damage with a Titan plate or potentially with a Hogan plate like JBL can. Um, so let's go to powerhouses by class. Um, burp, 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 burp. And even the, so like the really good defensive guys like Zombie Dom does green and multiply. So this would be cover other areas, right? So that's where I think his real value is. I think he's as good as a lot of them. Powerhouses, meaning any of the Titan guys, they tend to win turn two. He's not the upper tier at all, right? Like he's not the best for sure, but he's very good uh, for feud, very good for boss battle. But from a defensive damage dealing, growing the damage point for boss battle, he might be the best option or one of the very best options, right? Um, he can use traps. Um, he can use X breaks. It's only 11, but they're still there. And he can, and don't forget as of right now, the braid works in boss battle on a sub. So you could grow the damage this way. Um, he also does the blast into yellow, which is big. And he's got a sub with more blasts here. So Titan plate would work twice. Um, so you could run yellow, yellow, um, and then the purple move if you wanted to or whatever, right? You get the blast gems out twice for blowing up the board. Um, and then, yeah, it's just really, I, I think he's great. Uh, honestly, I like him as the defensive healing option. He might be the best one to have as a healer. Um, Zombie Dom is really good, but for powerhouse wise, fantastic there. So I get it give him an A plus for boss battle. Beyond that, like I said, uh, the very upper echelon, you know, he's not uh, Andre with a drip plate. He's not Stay Puff. Um, but after that, he's slightly less good than like KO, Ridge, Ray, Taker, and, and, and Seth. And when I say slightly, I mean slightly, uh, because he's got, and then Nightheart, right? With Nightheart having the um, moment and stuff. Um, 
but it's only slightly because he's got the Titan. He can hit hard. It's not going to be two every time where these guys is probably two just about every time, but most of the time it'll be two turns. And then he has that extra added ability, but he also uses different tokens, right? So um, big thumbs up for me on JBL. I really like him. I think he'll be a great addition to my roster pending playing the other ones. He is likely the one I'm going to end up going for first, simply because of boss battle and the ability to use the Titan and or Hogan plate on him for boss battle in the defensive slot. I think that'll be a big winner for a lot of people. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share as that really helps me out. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching and good luck out there.